Yeah, so y'all just seen that bullshit, right? Let me tell y'all what's going on and why y'all need to really go vegan, bro. Or at least at least know what's going on with the meat that y'all eating, right? So basically, just to keep it frank with you, your body produces pheromones. Pheromones are these certain smells that basically can um have an influence on the hormones of another person who smells your pheromones, right? So let's say if you're a nasty person, a disgusting person, you're low vibrational and all this type of stuff. Basically, your body will produce these stink smells because your pheromones are an expression of what vibrational state you're in. And um, if, you, if you're happy, loving, positive, clean, you're going to smell good naturally, right? Now, when you are in fear and all that type of stuff, your body produces these certain smells. That's why they always say that a dog can smell your fear. Or a predator can smell your fear. Or, you know, stuff like that. Or people going to be like, I can smell your fear. You know what I mean? So it's like that. For real. So when these animals go into these slaughterhouses, they already smell the death, the blood, the, um, the anger, the sadness, the confusion. They feel all that. Now, that's got them going crazy because, you know, they can smell way better than us. So, that, them, them pheromones are hitting them way more. And, um, you know, it could be other cows or, or other animals that they know personally that they can smell all the anger and fear. And they can smell the blood. And y'all seen how they had that cow hanging over the blood. The cow can see it and smell it. It's, it knows what it is. It knows what time it is. But it can't do nothing about it and then y'all seen how they just hung them upside down wrapped them up and then just started slitting his throat bro do y'all not see what's going on like like real talk when you when your body is stressing out and, and it's producing all these hormones and pheromones all that stuff gets it, it gets put inside the the flesh and basically when they get killed in this environment and all that type of stuff. Basically, all that energy, it, it stays preserved inside the meat. And when you eat meat, that's why you are also... That's not only is it because it's dead flesh and it ain't got no electromagnetic energy for real. But, like, think about all that negative leftover that's still inside the meat. From the pheromones and the hormones going off. From all that fear and anger and sadness. And it's like all that stuff is going to start to resonate inside of your own body. Then that's when you're going to start being depressed for no reason. Just because simply you eating meat. You feel me? It's like, yeah, like like real talk. And, um, yeah, man, I, like, just seeing that should let y'all know it's a lot of fucked up shit going on. Did y'all know, look, y'all shouldn't even drink or eat dairy. No cheese, no ice cream, no milk, nothing like that. Yogurt. Mm -mm. Because, let me tell you, you know why they pasteurize that stuff? Pasteurization is basically a process in which a food item is heated up for a very short, quick period of time just to kill the bacteria and stuff so that it can be um, FDA approved or whatever. Um, and basically... When they take these cows for the milk, for the dairy, they strap them to these machines. And um, basically the cows and stuff is uncomfortable for the cows. So when they strap them up to these machines, to their udders, and it like squeezes the milk out of their udder, the cows get mad and frustrated. So they start like going crazy, but they can't. So they like, 
stuck in these shackles. So they started pissing and shitting all over the place. And some of that gets inside the milk. For real. And basically, what happens is, like, with the milk, with all the blood, pus, shit, and piss. Because, um, cause you know, them cows, they mad. Like they, they forcing out that, that piss and the shit. So, you know, it's going to be blood in there, too, and all that type of other stuff. So, yeah. And, um, so, yeah, all that stuff is getting pushed out with the milk. And, um, basically, they put it through these filter machines. And the filter machines is basically to keep the big chunks of, like, shit in the majority of the piss and all that stuff out of the milk. But they still let a lot of it go through because you need... Because they can't filter the milk completely. You know what I mean? If they if they do it completely, then, like, it ain't going to have no fats in it. It ain't going to have no sugar. It ain't going to have no taste or nothing. It ain't even going to be milk. It ain't going to be water, nigga. So it's like, you know, they, they let a certain amount get through. So there is small amounts of blood, piss, and shit, and all that stuff in your uh, milk and cheese and all that. And um, basically, like I said before, they at the end process throughout all the filters, they pasteurize it to basically kill the bacteria and whatnot, and um, and then that's when they sell it to you. So the whole process is fucked up, and then. It's like none of that stuff is healthy for you. It, it makes your body produce mucus, which gives your body more inflammation. And more inflammation, you're going to have more oxidative stress. More oxidative stress, you're going to have more dead cells, more dead cells, more diseases, more diseases, more death. So it's like, see what I'm saying? It's a sick, sick game out here. This system is corrupt. I'm telling you. And they're trying to make everything seem all nice and dandy. They got they got people real deal thinking that it's farmers that just be going outside milking their cow with the bucket. I mean, it do be like that. It do be those, but like they making it seem like it's the majority when it's really not. And they got to make it. They making it seem like people to go out here five a.m. in the morning, rooster, and all that type of shit. That was a terrible impersonation. But um, yeah, you know the rooster and the fucking milking the cow. Everything all nice and peaceful and shit. Hell no. Hell no. They be strapping them cows up. Not all of them, but a lot of them. They be strapping them cows up to the machines, getting their milk. And then when they ready to kill them, they do exactly what you've seen in that video. I don't even know if they're going to take this video down or not. I just got to post it. Because um, it was actually somebody who is in the Cosmic Crew that sent me that. And um, you know that just inspired me to make this video right here. So, with all that being said, y'all, you know, it's all about peace, love, and happy ascension to the Cosmic Crew. I'm just trying to get y'all to drop so y'all can stay true to the game and, you know, prosper and be healthy. Because health is your wealth. So, with all that being said, this is Tweekosis, and I'm out.